These are a day's harvest from my soldier fly harvester. As you can see, it's a pretty good amount. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing this is probably in the neighborhood um, one to two hundred, I would guess. This is my black soldier fly larva incubator. It's a simple five gallon bucket with a lid. Um, I keep it inside my garden shed because uh, I've had raccoons get in them. They knock them over and eat the larva and the ones that they don't find uh, the birds manage to pick out the next day. But uh, just to show you, uh, it's nothing but a bucket with about uh, four or five inches of shavings in the bottom. These are these are cypress shavings. Uh, they basically will burrow in, which is what they're looking for, a place to burrow in to stay warm until they can uh, hatch and turn into black soldier flies. In the winter time, you want to keep them cool, but you don't want to let them freeze. If they freeze, they'll die. Uh, but you don't want to let them get too warm because if they do, they'll hatch and there's no place for them to go outside with cold weather. I'm going to go ahead and put these into the incubator just to show you what happens. Now they immediately recognize a good deal when they see one and start burrowing in. Uh, this is after all exactly what they were looking for. Uh, within a matter of a few minutes they will have completely vanished below the level. I already have two or three uh, harvestings poured in here so I should get a pretty good uh, amount of soldier flies from it. Now it'll be three or four weeks before they start in the regular summer weather before they start hatching and the flies come out. I'll come out here daily and lift the lid off and let the ones escape that have hatched. Sometimes there's as many as 30 or 40, sometimes only one or two. But as you can see, they vanish very quickly. Uh, they'll spend the whole winter there if uh, the weather's cool and come out in the spring, repopulate the area.